Blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here, plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP.
All right, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid's shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there.
I saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? Mm, not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know, will you? Okay, give me a sec. now. When would they let us out? Things are bad. Very bad. What's the government doing? Where's the army? Come here. Deal for yeah.
Sometimes I feel like there's nothing outside. First of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Ah, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Things are bad, very bad. Some of them are sweet. Why don't they let them go? Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity.
Good job out there, 31. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Rise's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Laura tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. to get that lock open. I am trying. Bayir, open the door. No, this is bad. Well, hurry up. You think picking locks is easy? You do it. Look, I've got to get out of here. I need to get my wife and kids somewhere safe. You know, it seems to me this is about the only safe place there is. <laughs> Safest place in the slums, maybe. But the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details. But I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place, and you're looking at him. 
Bring me a gun, and the key is yours, as well as everything you find there. What's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You want to try it? Give it a try. It's good. But here, you in here? Help me. Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. The vial is on the floor. What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please, I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't, I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. Oh, please, hurry! What happened? Did you kill him? What? No. Look, he's not turning, but he needs a doctor. You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner, the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. Yusuf? Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? 
He nearly died from that phony antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore.